one of LWT's fondly remembered dramas, Bouquet of Barbed Wire, tonight. Okay, you've caught your old man with his pants down. Isn't that enough for you? So what did your mother ever do to you that you have to rub her nose in it, huh? At 11.35, Michael Elphick stars as Charlie Wheelwright, newly married in Holding On. Hey, and within these walls concludes a night of classic drama for LWT 21. Now on LWT, we join Sue Carpenter at ITN for the news. The news from ITM. A blow for the national dock strike as Southampton votes to return to work. Yeltsin rallies Moscow support. The... London Palladium, a royal gala in aid of the Prince's Trust. Ah! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. See TV's top entertainers and join the LWT party live tonight. And our birthday festivities continue in a moment with an episode of A Fine Romance. Now on LWT, we're in the mood to celebrate our 21st with a fine romance. Next tonight on LWT, especially to celebrate our coming of age, we are proud to present a glittering royal gala in aid of the Prince's Trust and hosted by Sean Connery. Le Mans, seriously smooth. Hello again from 21 Live, and with our exciting Royal Gala just minutes away, we're approaching the climax of LWT's 21st anniversary celebrations. Now, to help me preview the rest of the evening, as you can see, I've been joined by Nigel Dempster. And Nigel, you're very much involved in our party later, as my action man, if nothing else. So what are you doing exactly? I've been practicing all day, Gloria, and it's going to be the greatest trick on earth. I'm going to stop the Thames, and uh, people are going to have to wait until about quarter past... 20 past 11 to see how that's done. It's a tremendous trick, by the way. But you're going to be out and about generally all over other London things, helping people to celebrate. Other things are going to happen. Bottles of champagne are going to be dished everywhere and we're going to welcome t LWT's latest viewer, all believe right. it or not. Well, we'll have to wait for that. In the meantime, we've got this great royal gala coming up. And I'm wondering, when I see various members of the royal family going to occasions like this, do they actually enjoy it? 
Well, Diana, who I just seen coming in, has got a large blue bag which sort of clashes a bit with the, the rest of it. And inside this large blue bag is obviously her sandwiches, her <laughs> knitting, <laughs> the soft drinks. I think the Queen Mother takes her knitting or crochet. They sort of come out with a little small sock and. and <laughs> it's, a, it's a rather wonderful way because, of course, you're only allowed to focus on them about three times during the evening, so they can get away with anything. <laughs> they can streak, they can strip, they can throw mm. things into the audience. How do they celebrate? How do they really let their hair down? Well, of course, it was Diana. Frock, you look good, Joanna. Yes, we're just putting the finishing touches to our 21st birthday party this evening, and what a spectacular evening it's going to be. Yes, indeed, make sure you join all of us for a lot of fun at 10.35 tonight. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Mr. Sean Connery. The two teams meet again in the FA Charity Shield at Wembley in a fortnight. And securely at the end of the rainbow. And that's it. Good night. Well, a much brighter, a much fresher day in prospect, really over much of the country, and indeed most places should be dry. Quite a bit of sunshine around, I think, especially in the morning. Best places for that, I would imagine, along the south coast. Central parts of Scotland, sheltered parts of Northern Ireland enjoying a fair amount of sunshine during the day tomorrow. Now, there are one or two exceptions. Northeastern Scotland and the Northern Isles likely to stay rather cloudy with some rain or showers from time to time. And showers breaking out, I think, particularly down the eastern coast of England there. One or two in northwest Scotland perhaps extending down into Northern Ireland. But really that shouldn't spoil what should be a fine afternoon for most places with broken cloud and sunshine. Now, as I said earlier, quite a fresh day, a brisk northwest wind. Temperatures 18, 19, and that's mid 60s Fahrenheit. Top temperature likely down along the south coast there, 21 is 70. That's it, here's the summary. Good evening. The weather details now for the LWT area. Tonight should be dry, but there could be some patchy mist around dawn. It's going to feel very cool in contrast to the mild nights we've grown accustomed to, as minimum temperatures in London fall to 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit, and 8 Celsius, 46 Fahrenheit in more rural areas. So on with the duvet. Tomorrow, once the early mist clears, it'll be a bright, dry day with broken cloud. The best of the sunshine will be in the morning. There'll be a tendency for cloud to build up in the afternoon when showers are likely, especially in the east. It's quite possible that those who escape the rain today will meet it tomorrow. It'll be a fresh day with maximum temperatures around 22 degrees Celsius, 72 Fahrenheit, with a noticeable northwesterly breeze. The outlook is for mainly dry, warm and sunny weather. That's it until next Friday. Good night. Next tonight, join Gloria Hannaford for a live celebration of our 21st birthday. Now we join Gloria Hannaford, who has a special invitation for you. Well, welcome to 21 Live. This is the climax of our anniversary celebrations. And as you can see, I've put on the good frock because we're about to have a party, to which indeed you are all invited. Now, I don't quite know exactly what's going to happen, but guests are gathered, of course, on the terrace overlooking this magnificent river. I can just about hear the music playing, and I'm about to go down and join in the fun myself. So I'll see you very soon.
great TV book celebrating 21 years of LWT is published by Sidgwick and Jackson and is available at booksellers price £7.99. In 1983, 13 million viewers were swept away by the winds of war. There is nothing to do now but win the war. That was just the beginning. Now ITV presents the greatest television event of all time. Gentlemen, I want to bomb Japan. Go to General Quarters, Commander. Quick, full submarine alert. All hands, ring for depth charge on the double. Right full rudder. Neither you nor Professor Jastro understand just how fraught with peril your situation is. How on earth could any document protect us if the Germans discover we're here? We uh, have arrived, gentlemen, at an historic moment. In Seymour and Robert Mitchum in War and Remembrance, coming soon. To make our birthday weekend complete some memorable moments from the South Bank Show, that's next.